This is your little girl. This is your little Nelly. And she had her eyes open. I'm hoping she opens again. So I, I picked her up and brought her out because, oh, look at her crawling. Look at her trucking around. Open your eyes, baby girl. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, she's being asleep. Oh, come on, honey. Open your eyes. Show us your pretty eyes. Oh, she's crawling right up into my hand. Good girl, now. Good girl, now. Oh, oh, she's strong. Look, she's crawled right up into my hand. Oh, she slipped back down. Anyway, I just wanted to to send you guys this one. Nelly. Nelly. Nelly girl. Oh bugs. What are you doing down there? Well, better question is, what are you doing now? I'll let you see her crawl around. I will never, ever get tired of watching these little guys. She kind of looks ridiculous with that bow. It's way too big. It might be making her lopsided. Look, you and Blue go play someplace else. Get off my feet. I was hoping she'd open her eyes for you, but... She keeps turning towards her mom. There's her mom. Laying beside her kennel. So Bella's waiting for me to bring her back, which I will do. She trusts me though. She knows that I'm not ever going to hurt one of her little babies. Oh, she's making little noises. I'll try to be quiet so you can hear her. Oh, you're such a strong little girl. You're such a strong Nelly Belly. You're such a strong girl. Now, if she smells my hand, I'm going to see if she'll crawl back up. Oh, here she comes. She, oh, she missed my hand, though. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on, now. These guys intuitively know I have a girlfriend that's coming over. She's a rancher from up the road. And she was going to drop by today for a little visit and have a peek at the pups. And uh, I don't know how they know, but they instinctively seem to know when someone is going to drop by or if I'm going to head out to town as hard as I try to keep it from them. Oh, you sweet baby. Pretty girl. So we handle these puppies several times a day. Um, it is so that when you get them, they won't be little biting messes. They'll be used to the human touch. You won't have to chase them to pick them up and hold them. They're going to want to be in your arms. They're going to want to be close to you all the time. It's, um, it's their nature. 
but in order to have that happen we have to make sure that they're used to the touch and know that a human touch is never ever going to hurt them that they're always going to be loved and when you come when they come to us they get pets and cuddles and loves and belly rubs and all that good stuff when we first got Bella um, she well I'm pretty sure it was a it was a puppy mill that we got her from we didn't know when we were going to get her that that's what it was but but we had to catch her to bring her home and it was it was a really sad situation there but anyway she's home safe with us now but um, like I say any time that well I didn't have my feet on the floor for the first oh I bet you it was two months the first two months that we had her because she was just constantly chewing and biting on us and I I didn't I didn't know what to do at the time but she with time learned that she didn't have to be on defense all the time and she's the most gentlest little girl now that would never ever think to try to bite us but you'll see as they get bigger and with the videos that I send you as soon as they hear my voice they'll all come running to wherever I am and that all be jumping up and trying to get picked up because it's they know it's a good thing to be held and by the time they're ready to go to you guys they will be craving their person so anyway that's my little spiel for now <laughs> and um, yeah we'll talk later bye bye